Yo, welcome back, Zykor here. And today in our Monster Hunter World Master Rank Monster Showcase, we're gonna take a look at one of the explosive monsters in Monster Hunter World. Yes, this monster is the only monster in Monster Hunter that looks like Jay Leno. Yeah, it looks like Jay Leno, I swear it. <laughs> this monster is Uragon, the, yeah, very explosive, very large chin, very defined chin, which, yeah, is kind of a um, defining factor of Jay Leno. So, yeah, he would be, it would be that. Um, and you, if you look at his face, he kind of looks like him too. So, yeah, um, there's a reference there. There's got to be. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, Uragan is one of the monsters from Monster Hunter Try. It was new in there and had some pretty unique mechanics. It, it would like, well, it rolls around like kind of like a wheel. I no idea how, why it doesn't get dizzy. That That's a mystery in all in and of itself. But, um, and it can fling explosive rocks, uh, spew, sleep and fire gas out at you, which uh, that sounds like some terrible gas, but yeah, that would be, that's weird as well. But, um, yeah, so Uragan is an interesting monster and a formidable challenge in Master Rank because he really hurts. I, I can't count how many times I've actually been owned by him. So, um, let's take a look at the Hunter Notes here. So, right here. Now, Uragan is a brute wyvern, and it generally likes to hang around in the volcano areas. So, in Monster Hunter World, that would really only be the Elder's Recess, but other other games, you know, volcanic areas. And like in Monster Hunter Tri, it used to like to hang around in the desert, in deserted island as well, but mostly volcano areas. As for physiology, you can break the head, you can break the back, you can cut the tail as well. And it looks like the top of the head is a weak point and its underbelly is a weak point. I don't know if hitting its underbelly counts towards breaking its back or not. I'm not fully sure on that, but it is interesting. As for elements, fire doesn't do any damage so yeah don't even bother bringing a fire weapon water actually just pretty good so yeah water is probably your best bet for element thunder isn't the best so yeah don't bother ice is okay so you could possibly use ice and dragon is okay too so you could also use that as well as for ailments poison is actually pretty good so yeah you could possibly bring poison that would actually be viable uh, sleep isn't the best though either, so yeah, don't don't bring sleep. Paralysis is probably okay. I mean, generally it's okay to paralyze most any monster anyway, unless they're not affected by paralysis. And blast is okay too, so uh, blast can be viable. Stun also is useful as well. Looks works pretty good on him. And here's the rewards. I do have a good amount of research on it, so yeah got a good amount of master rank rewards on it okay so um now uragan can cause fire blight and sleep so yeah you want to make sure to be careful for that uh it's it doesn't cause fire blight I think as much maybe as sleep but it also doesn't use its sleep off very often either so you could probably um you know forego any sleep resistance because it's fairly easy to dodge it but if you don't dodge it it's you know it may not necessarily cause you problems but sometimes it can be bad too but um usually what i'm just going to do i guess is just take my resistor because yeah i have resistor um otherwise of course since it's in the volcano don't forget your cool pots, which I think, yeah, I was going to forget them. So I need some cool pots myself. Um, just take 
I'll take three in case I get to the camp and they give me two. There we go. Okay, so now, uh, Uragan is an MR three star. Be gone, Uragan. And this one apparently is about um, the that the infirmary is overflowing with researchers suffering from extreme vertigo, uh, which an Uragan is the cause. And you know, I would, I would understand. Because, yeah, <laughs> it spins so much you would be dizzy just looking at it. <laughs> so, start this. There we go. And, of course, I have Pete with me. My little buddy. Who's... Get over here, Pete. Stop going back to your box. Yeah, cats like boxes, so, um, yeah, that's, that's why he goes over to the box. <laughs> okay, Pete, let's go. Uh, there we go, if I could press the button. Off to the Elder's Recess. And, of course, it puts me off right next to him. Okay. And his Japanese name is Uraganki. So... Interesting. There we go. Huh. His war didn't really affect me. That's, that's nice. Now, one thing that can actually be fairly useful on him is trying to get rid of the tail quickly. Yeah, there, it breaks. I mean, there's actually two breaks on the tail. <laughs> he threw that right next to me on purpose. But that tail, the tail is actually fairly dangerous because of things like that. Just go in, hit it, there we go. Get away from that. Yeah, every time he pounds his jaw on the ground, he will make those explosive rocks explode. And he'll make you uh, explode too. And you know, I just realized I have my HUD off because of certain reasons. Just turn that back on. And, you know, I want to see my damage, too. There we go. Yeah. Um, I use that... I leave that off to take screenshots or to take thumbnails. Get out of here. There we go. Aha! I believe, yeah, I think the reason, the time they blow up, though, with his jaw attack, is when he's, he does his large jaw attack, where he kind of sits there and charges up for it. <laughs> there we go. Pete, you got hit. He was going to heal me. There, that attack, yeah, that attack explodes them. There we go, cut the tail. Yeah, getting that little bit off of the tail is usually helpful. Oh. Got away from that. Yeah, it will cause you to be tremored, so you gotta be careful for that. Thank you, Pete. Actually, as far as what I've experienced, I think you can break its legs as well. Get out of here. No! Oh. They will eventually explode on their own, though, too, so you gotta be careful. And run. Oh! Yeah, this is exactly why Uragan is dangerous. Because the explosions he has are, um, yeah, they can hurt. And there's so many of them that it makes it hard to dodge them. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I got out of there just in time. 
Yeah, his his rolling is also dangerous. Uh, he has a pot here because I need health. Pete. Pete's doing some damage. Now it can help to weaken parts, of course. I probably should be. Actually, weakening his jaw would actually probably be useful. But trying to weaken his jaw is actually ooh, I got too close to that. I thought it was far enough away. Now uh, there, that's his fire gas attack. So that will cause fire blade. There we go, I, sta I st staggered him. And I missed, well, no, I actually hit with it. Okay, there we go. So get this. Always remember to get the tail. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this, um, this specific quest will be available just by getting to MR7. So that's it. Not really difficult to unlock. Oh, he hits me away. Now, it looks like he's kind of... Well, uh, he's not really turf warring with Dodogama because they're not really turf warring. Dodogama's attacking him, but he's not attacking Dodogama. So yeah, he's not interested. Of course. Yeah, you really gotta be careful for his wheel attack because that, it can hurt. Grab that. Ah, ah, run away. Oh, nuts, I forgot. I need cool pot. And frankly, I should have a... <laughs> I saw that coming at me and I thought, oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, get a cool pot. Oh no. Whoa. Okay, get... Yeah, mega pot. Run away. Because his roll is definitely something to watch out for. And you can roll under him, except when the explosions happen. Yeah. Um, I think I need to use my ancient pot. Using your temporal mantle can also help. I hear... Getting that. That would be Viper Toby, I think. Or no, not Viper Toby, Odo. Wait, that's Ebony Odo, isn't it? Yeah. Ebony, leave. I don't want you here. Turf War. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm I'm welcoming that. We can damage each other. Let me let me sharpen quick. Yeah, you guys can just fight in the in the lava. Um, how? Ebony Oro can be in the lava? I really don't know. Thank you, Odo. You broke the jaw for me. No, don't bro I wanted to get some good attacking. Oh, at least I think I hit the back there. Leave, Odo. Leave. We don't want you here. Do I have to throw poop at you? I mean, come on, Odo. Oh, okay, good. Rudigan's leaving. Um, let's head... No, I don't think I can head this way. I have to go this way. Let's get over here quickly. He'll probably follow me. Now that I ran out of stamina. Okay, good. He didn't follow me. That's, that's good. I'm glad for that. Oh, ha! He... Right on my... He went right by me on that. Okay, get some crystal bursts. Those are usually pretty good. I'm not doing enough damage, but um, yeah. Heart's broken, so I probably broke the one leg a little bit. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, here's that. That attack is dangerous. Grab one of these flowers. And that, yeah, that can hurt too. There we go. And he's actually surprisingly mobile for how big he is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I almost died there. Thank you, Pete. I needed that. Fire. Okay, he's using his fire more often. Um, more often than the sleep, anyway. I thought he used sleep more often, but, you know, it could be different in Master Rank. I haven't really paid attention when I have battled him. Because, actually, I, I have battled a good amount in the Master Rank. Roll between his legs. Because, yeah, in the middle of his legs is the best place to stand when he does that. Just because, you know, it's in the middle of his legs. Come on, stand up, Hunter, stand up. I think I carved the tail. No, I think about it. I keep I can't remember. Of, of course. Yeah, he has those hip checks just like like you know Plesioth and and then of course yeah. Use another ancient pot. Yes, there was to be some times where he tips over. Um, you can mine his back, I think. Yep. Just come over here and hit B. You can get some items and get an attack off if you get over there quick enough. Looks like the Godzillacas have poisoned it because I don't have poison on either me or Pete. I'm trying to attack the center area in hopes that I can maybe break the back. It looks like the back is broken though. That's sleep. And of course, I got hit by Sue. So yeah, it's not good. Pete! You're still awake, Pete. Come over here, Pete. No, Pete! <laughs> no! Oh, okay, uh, no, I got hit by that. Uh, thanks for your help, Godzilla, because you're, you're working hard for me. And now he's on fire. Yeah, he gets on fire when he rolls through his own explosive stones. Okay. There we go. And now I don't think his I don't think his jaw can be broken again. I think it looks like it's the max that it can be. Why am I collecting research? I'm not actually sure. Okay, get over here. Now, Crystal Burst can be useful to, like, you know, interrupt him. Okay, where are you taking me? I tell you, Scout Flies, they're not... Okay, fine, I'm gonna... Is he up there? Possibly? Yeah, scout flies aren't trying to take me anywhere. They're just leading me off into... into a place where there's nothing... kind of like Google Maps. Okay, get up here. And up here. There we go. Now, he likes to hang around up, up here as well. This is actually one of the more uh, slightly more difficult areas to battle it because it's on a hill it's always difficult to battle a monster on a hill there we go run away now you know i could try to get this paratoad there and he's paralyzed so that's useful 
I'll try to get him in the head. Paratoads can be useful. If you can get him in the right place. Uragan doesn't move as much as some other monsters. So, technically, Paratoads can work on it. Yeah! No! Yeah, he hit me hard with that. I'm kind of testing trying to break his, his leg because I thought it, maybe I could, but I'm not fully sure on that. Um, I know you can break the bones off of Rotoban's legs. Um, I do have a showcase on Rotoban as well. If you haven't seen that already. Pete! Thanks, like Pete. <laughs> okay. And sleep gas. I didn't see it coming right away because I was I had Uragan butt in my way. So kinda There we go. Uh, that was a little bit less damaging. No! Sleep! Now, if you're at the right location, you can attack his tail uh, while he's using the sleep gas as well. Because his tail and his head are just outside of the gas. Okay, so, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for this turf war to kind of... Well, not really turf war, just them to be... Breaking up a bit. I hit his tail there. No? <laughs> that was a nice hit. And run away from the explosive dog, uh, stuff. No! I didn't want that. Get a good hit in. Get this Nitro Toad. Explode! <laughs> Griefing him with his own explosion. Or not his own explosions, but with explosions of my own. Of course, explosions of my own would come from the rear end. Run! <laughs> I thought maybe that was going to hit me. Okay, looks like he's limping. Might as well get Best Boyd stuff, because Best Boyd stuff is actually not very common. Okay, head down here. Hello, Uragon. Yeah, mutual damage. No, don't stop, don't stop me. I want to get out of here to get away from your explosions. Hey! Thank you, buddy. Okay, I do need to sharpen. Let's try to sharpen here quick while they battle each other, even though they, they're not really, they're, really, they're kind of like half battling each other. Um, let's make a new ancient potion just in case I didn't actually do that. Okay. <laughs> Don't leave. Is he leaving? No, he's attacking. Okay. Now it's a turf war, which I don't really want to be in the in the fray. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see. Can I mine his back? Yes, you can mine his back every time he falls over. And, of course, miss. Hit the tail that time. Now, it's possible maybe I just cracked the legs there, too. I don't know. I don't... I mean, yes, it doesn't say you can break the legs. But I could have sworn before I've seen some damage on him when I've attacked him. 
Let's see if I can get it a third time. Yes, you can. And it looks like you can get it from his underside, too. There we go. Stop. Would you just get out of here, Odo? We don't want you here. You're like an annoyance. And now... Wait for him to... Pete, get out of there! Ooh, Pete got hit hard. Pete! He was flattened! <laughs> ah, poor Pete. No. No! Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Pete. <laughs> uh, ancient potion. Run. Okay, yeah, that's... The thing about Uragan in this area is he uses this entire area as his as his rolling playground. So he will roll around in this entire area doing, um, you know, rolling up and down the hills, using it as a, as a, uh, like a ramp to speed him up. It's like an arena. And then he dodges my attack and hits me instead. Clever move, Rudagon. Clever move. No! <laughs> uh, I was hoping it wouldn't blow up. I still got dung pods equipped. I don't need them. Uh, how, how dare you? You didn't give me time to get past. No! No! Stay down. Okay. There we go. Whew. Ancient pots. If I didn't have ancient pots, I would probably be dead. Good thing ancient pots are so abundant at the steamworks. There we go. Whew, got him right as he was going to do a gas attack. So, yeah, I, I interrupted his, his gas. Which... Uh, did that back it up? Ooh, that would have been nasty. Okay. Let's see. And then ex they explode afterwards. So you have to actually be careful of that too. Because if it's a multi... Um, a multi-monster hunt... Uragon can basically... Um, grief you from beyond. By... His, bo his rocks exploding after you take him down. So, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> something to be careful for. Let's grab rut, sleep herb, even though I don't need sleep herbs. Run around over here. Hello, dung beetle, or whatever that was. Okay, let's see how I did. Got nice stuff, as usual. Always nice to get the usual stuff you get from him. Okay, at least I didn't die. I mean, yes, technically I did because Pete revived me, but I didn't, uh, you know, it didn't count. Let's just say it that way. <laughs> because Pete revived me. But I didn't do too bad. Master Rank 96. Okay, well, that is Uragan, one of the, I, I think, one of the harder monsters in Monster Hunter. Um, yeah, th those explosions can really do a number on you. I mean, yeah, you, you can even see, it, it basically killed me once. Because, yeah, his rolling and the explosions, the combination is what is really dangerous. Okay, get, look at the armor here. Now, Uragon weapons tend to be fire element and also have a large defense boost to them. So that's something to think about if you want that type of weapon. Uh, otherwise, not every weapon, though, has a Uragon 
version. So, like, there isn't a Uragan greatsword, but there is an Uragan hammer. And it's down here by Labasioth. Okay, so, Uragan alpha armor. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, um, kind of, what, a, a hefty, hefty armor, I guess. I mean, I would say football player, but it, no, it's even more than that. It's like a, a, a bomb squad or something like that. Probably, yeah, it, except your face is open, which means it's not a bomb squad because you, if your face is open like that, you wouldn't be protected from bombs at all. <laughs> As for the beta, uh, it's not much different. Only thing different is just the color areas, and actually, it's less color areas. Well, I mean, not, not necessarily less. They're just in a little bit different locations. The uh, alpha armor has the uh, in between, um, in between the shell there as green that's what can be colored whereas the beta has the little metal on the belt there around the center of the belt that's green so yeah I I feel like though the alpha maybe has more color options than the beta but um, anyway as for the skills it's got like blast resistance part breaker guard um, and yeah, that's probably mostly it. Let's see the skill info this way. Uh, the set skill is Uragan Ambition. And that looks like it only takes two pieces of the Uragan armor to unlock that. Allows you to guard against ordinarily unblockable attacks. Basically just gives you guard up, which is nice. Um, guard level four will give you, you know, in reducing knockbacks and stamina depletion when guarding, you know, stuff like that. Um, part breaker level three, that's good to have, 30% damage to uh, part damage, I mean. And then, you know, some other skills too that aren't super useful, other than focus. Focus is pretty good too. So it's not too bad of an armor. More of a defensive armor, um, but, you know, mostly for lancers is because of the guard up and stuff. So, um, yeah, that is Uragon one of the yeah one of the difficult monsters in Monster Hunter I'm getting into the harder monsters now it's yeah <laughs> so they're gonna be you know I might be dying more they might be uh, you know taking longer because well I mean I still have don't have the Fatalis sword I'm still using the um, the the what is it blast uh, I forgot the name of it, but <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I'm using the this sword, the light break blade. That's what it is, the light break blade. And then, of course, the fussy fourth. She's always walking past here. I need to probably go to a different area. Um, let's head over here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this monster showcase. If you like this monster showcase, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribe hit that bell icon leave a comment and of course share it and of course if you're looking for a discord server you know come to the night illusion discord server because yeah it's a fun place to just hang out and chat but uh yeah thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>